Kevin Gosman making his 11th start of the season. He's got at least five innings in each start this year, including his last one against the White Sox. Five innings and three runs, but he threw 98 pitches, and the White Sox hitters were pesky. They were fouling off his fastball, extending counts, pitching him, spiking that pitch gun. His signature pitch is the splitter, and he at times, he's conscious of digging in for that pitch, making sure not to tip off pitches, but he'll want to go a little bit deeper this afternoon against this Twins lineup. A high fly to right. Hernandez with the catch. Arise. He dropped the ball. And Arise will come around third and score. I don't know if he was peeking at the runner or what, but that's a routine fly ball and a costly error. And the Twins take a 1 0 lead. It looked like he lost it at the last second. You see, he trying to came down and, you know, on him pretty fast. Oh, there are hardly any shadows on the field, so it wasn't like he was looking directly up into the sun. We've got partly cloudy skies, but don't know that he can use that as an excuse. Polanco at second, Sanchez to third, Arise scoring the game's first run, and here's Urshela. And that'll score a run. Hitting behind the runner at second. Two to nothing. Sanchez scores. Polanco to third. Jose Miranda. Swing at a hot bat for the Twins. Hoping to deliver a big two-out hit here. Up the middle. And into center field. Miranda comes through with a big two out hit and it's three to nothing. Fell behind 0 2, worked the count full, got something he could handle, and delivered. Great piece of hitting from a guy first time facing Kevin Gosman. Devin Smeltzer, fastball, slaughter, changeup, curveball, two seam fastball. Looking for his third consecutive quality start. In four starts, Smeltzer's given up four runs and he staked to an early three nothing lead. And look at that number has not allowed a home run. This goes way back to last year has not allowed a home run in his last 42 and two thirds inning. 49 career leadoff home runs for George Springer. The one two pitch swing and a shot down the left field line screaming towards the pole and there it's gone. Number 50 for George Springer is sensational. The big 5 0 number 11 on the season for George Springer. That was a bullet. Springer tees off the Blue Jays are on the board but now back to back walks and now would be the perfect time for that ground ball ground ball nice stop by Palacios they got one what a double play Jermaine Palacios with a tremendous play to get the twins off the field and ending the inning with one of the best double plays you'll ever see circle that in your scorecard because that might be the play of the game. Kevin Gosman returns to the hill after 31 first inning pitches 20 were strikes and definitely taxed because of two plays not made behind him. That's down the line. That's trouble. They were playing him in the right center field gap. Gordon can run for a while. The ball dies in the corner. He'll fly around second and gate in a third base easily with a stand up triple already the fifth hit. For the Twins against Kevin Gosman. Well, he won't get an easier triple than that. Batter now is going to be the num number nine hitter, Palacios. Base hit right field. Four to one, Twins. Palacios picks up his first big league run batted in. How about the rookies, Latroy? Some really good at bats against one of the better right handed pitchers in the league. There's a guy that does need a green light, and that's Polanco. Up the line. And Chapman has no choice and his throw is off the line and the inning will continue probably not an error charged on Chapman but a swinging bunt making it five to one last of the second inning five one twins Santiago Espinal two for four with a double yesterday fouls it back and it's one and two oh, a souvenir was that the last foul ball that, that looks like it <laughs> what a catch. wow what a catch wow. dad oh well done. Three and two the count. Runner at first at the ready. There goes the runner again. Three two and he bounced one in for bowl four. The first walk given up today by Gosman and the inning will continue. And here comes Charlie. Looks like that is going to be all. This is fine Dan. You I think you have to do this on a day like this. Whatever was going on we don't know for sure but yep. whatever was going on Gosman was was battling today and he will leave here with two outs in the fourth inning. David Phelps is out of the bullpen to pitch for the Toronto Blue Jays as this fourth inning continues. Golf to left center. Gurriel's had a busy afternoon, and he makes the catch to retire the side. So Phelps strands a couple, and two down, nobody on here, bottom four for Alejandro Kirk, who hit it into the other double play that ended the first. Fly ball left, well hit. How about Alejandro Kirk? He does.
pass it again. Coming a regular thing, him putting on that jacket. The fourth home run in the last five games for Alejandro Kirk. Fifth home run of the season for Alejandro Kirk. He didn't miss that one. That lands in the 200 level. He's something else, isn't he? Not sure teams know how to get him out. Runners at first and second here in the sixth. Twins with a 5-2 lead. In the air to center. Springer still going back, and he made the catch! The throw to second will be in time to double off the runner and end the inning. Springer went a long, long way, made a great catch, and the double play retires the side. Right. Stays no balls and two strikes on the third baseman for the Twins. Ground ball to the right side, Guerrero. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Stenberger, okay, it looks like, had to reach behind him. Applied the tag, and hopefully he's all right. Glad he tossed this behind him. Glad he's got to work on his quarterback skills, but a great job of receiving by Simber. Got a smile on his face, so that's a good sign. A tough road trip for Larnick. 0 for 3 today with two strikeouts. See what he can do with Simber's side-winding delivery. A drive to right field. Larnick lifts one up and out. A solo home run for Trevor Larnick, his fourth of the year. And the Twins lead it now 6-2. to two. December doesn't give up a lot of home runs to left-hand hitters. First of the season, breaking ball just coming just right back into his swing. Almost like he set it on a tee for him. One out now, the batter is going to be at Chapman. Chapman singled his last time up. How about this when Chapman delivers a deep drive. That ball is long going to left field. Number seven on the season for Matt Chapman is obliterated. High over the wall in left field. The Blue Jays have scored their third run of the day on the third home run of the afternoon. Beasley to face Gary Sanchez, who is one for four. A high fly deep down the left field line. Chased by Gurriel. That ball is gone! Sanchez with a two-run home run to break it open. Sanchez first pitch swinging, and the Twins now lead 8-3. to three. And Sanchez with a towering fly ball tucked just inside the foul ball. Cleared the wall by just a few feet, but that was enough. Two on, one out. So now Santiago Espinal, one for three, had a base hit his last time up. Espinal, deep left field and gone! Three-run home! for Santiago Espinal. Like a bolt of lightning, the Blue Jays are right back in this game. The fourth home run this afternoon for Toronto. Couldn't have come at a better time. And it's not over just yet. Eight to six. A nervous nine for Rocco Baldelli and the Twins. Runners at first and third, and the batter is Bo Bichette. The 2-1. Ground ball to third. Urshela finishes it off. Giovanni Moran does the job, gets the save, and the Twins take two out of three in Toronto. This is exactly what they needed. Came up here, you know, missing a few players, but get, put themselves in a, a position where they could win the series, and they're going to have a happy flight tonight.